Hi guys and girls, I'm Reefman, and today we're going to talk about the care and feeding of one of my favorite fish, the Anthea. I don't have any in my tank right now, but hopefully that won't make this any less interesting. The most common Antheas that we get for our tank are all from the genus Pseudoantheas, and there are 79 species in that genus. Of those, we actually see about 25 different species in the hobby, and all of these Antheas are going to be colorful, small, perch-like fish that do best either singly or in a small group. The first Anthea was discovered in 1758 in the Northeastern Atlantic Ocean. Antheas are more commonly found in the tropical oceans around the world, sometimes in giant shoals with hundreds or even thousands of individual fish. Inside the shoal, Antheas tend to form smaller groups called harems. Each harem is made up of one male and maybe 10 or 12 female fish in the wild. When the dominant male dies or gets eaten, the largest female transitions to a male. All Antheas are born female. Males often have different colors than the females of the same species. For instance, male lyretail Antheas are bright purple and red, while females are uniformly orange. In home aquariums, Antheas do best in odd number groups of females. This results in the dominant fish changing to a male, which takes a few months for it to complete. Antheas are territorial, and the male will defend its territory from other Antheas of the same species. If you're just starting out with Antheas, I'd recommend looking at the Lyretail, Bartlett's, or Dispar Antheas. These three species will get you accustomed to the requirements that need to be met to keep these fish healthy, while also being hardy enough to be willing to try whatever you have to feed them, and they'll be able to get through a few beginner's mistakes. All Antheas require a medium to large tank. I'd say 55 gallons or so at the minimum, but bigger is always better, because they're active swimmers. Also, because they're active swimmers, they require several small feedings throughout the day. These are not fish that will do well with a single feeding each day. I would suggest using an auto feeder like this one to feed them at least four or five times each day, but watch your water quality and ensure that they're also maintaining the high water quality. Your other fish, of course, will enjoy the feedings that you are feeding your antheas. I've found that antheas will eat almost anything once you get them acclimated to your food. You can start them on live brine shrimp or black worms, but after that, they seem to love both frozen food and pellets. Pellets are particularly nice because you can feed them using an automatic feeder, which helps keep the fish healthy. I recommend New Life Spectrum pellets, and that's what I use in my tank. Antheas love to swim in the open water, but they'll only do that if they feel safe and have rock work to hide in. It's important to give them plenty of caves and nooks and crannies so that they can feel safe. They'll also sleep amongst the rocks at night. Some Antheas will even perch on the rocks from time to time, but in general, they'll be bold and active fish in the open water parts of your aquarium. I would recommend a screen top. The Antheas that I had in my tank here slowly jumped out one by one over time, and that's why I currently don't have any. Despite having a screen cover, which is not on the tank anymore, uh, they found the openings in it, and then that was that. So make sure your cover is secure and that the openings are pretty small. Once you're comfortable with your abilities and maybe wanting an Anthea that is maybe a little bit more unusual or will be more of a challenge to keep, you can look at things like the Ivansi or Ignitus Antheas. Or for even more of a challenge, you can look at Loris or Flavogatatus Antheas. Keep in mind that Antheas are found all over the world, and some of them, like the Ignitus Anthea, are from deeper waters that will appreciate cooler temperatures and subdued lighting in your tank. Otherwise, normal reef tank conditions will work great for almost all Antheas. So do a quick search of the species you're interested in before buying it. That's good to do no matter what you're buying. And you'll find quickly if that Anthea is going to be a special care, like a deep water species or something like that. Forums like reef to reef or Reef Central would be great resources to use for that kind of information. So that's all this week. I hope you enjoyed learning about Antheas and I will see you next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye.